Uh, you should know, Mr. Falcone. My analysts say we're raising triple with Mayor Hill. Has... Hey, what's private audience? Oh, come on, guys. Bruce. You'll be fine out there, Harvey. I saw plenty of skirts to keep you busy for a few minutes. We talk alone. Just you and me. Sorry, Harvey. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll get a drink or something. Christ. Yeah, well, that's just like Harvey, huh? Wants to make sure the rules are followed. But in my experience, there's the law, and there's doing what's right. You understand? And I'd rather see Harvey actually help this city instead of just saying he will. I understand more than you know. Good. You look smart. You dress smart. Glad it adds up to something real. I ain't here to chinwag about politics, Mr. Wayne. Gives me indigestion. I got enough of that as is. So, let's talk relationship. Chalk this for me. Be a pal. I can get Harvey the mayor's seat. Or I can pull it out from under him. Okay, imagine. This is me. And these are all my friends in Gotham. The businesses, restaurants, clubs, docks, unions, politicians. I make them all move. And I want to keep everything moving if Harvey gets elected. That's why I came here tonight to your lovely home. Hoping to make a new friend. One who can help Mr. Dent see the light. If need be. Between your businesses and mine, I bet we employ half the city. Oh, I'm everyone's friend. Which means you're really no one's. Pick a lane before you have a head-on collision. You listen to me, kid. I know, somewhere inside that tuxedo, you understand this situation. Money gets money. The risks, the alliances, the hidden costs. Your father knew which hands to shake. And which to break. Whatever you say. You're a good kid. You look like him, you know? It's nice that we understand each other. Master Bruce, your guests are leaving. I recommend seeing them out. You wouldn't want to be rude. Hey, I appreciate the hospitality, Mr. Wayne. But I, uh... <laughs> I don't think I'll put an offer on the house. A nice guy like you should have a nice place to live. I'll be seeing you, Bruce, while this city's still standing. It's me.
another brutal week in Gotham, folks. A string of home invasions rippled through the city's already crime-infested East End. Apparently, the bandits are using stolen GCPD battery rams to force their way in, with breaking and entering incidents up 40% over last year. Remember to keep those front doors locked tonight. And we have breaking news tonight. Five criminals are in custody this evening after a break-in at City Hall. But thanks to the efforts of the Batman, the stolen items were returned. But the most shocking Not of all of them. Let's see what she was really after. ...that Dent may have actually been involved in the break-in. Talk about dirty politics. Does Hill's campaign really think these accusations hold any water with the voters? be perceived as a desperate attempt from a flailing campaign to take the down computer should be able to read whatever data is on a stolen drive and in other news we are now on day three of the factory fire that will not end crews have given up trying to combat the blaze at the otisburg processing center owned by ace chemical still no word on what started the fire but whatever's burning there has resisted everything the fire department has thrown at it they're recommending people avoid the area and seek immediate treatment if you happen to breathe in any of that tar black smoke. And one mobster's murder caused quite a headache for commuters this morning. The body of Falcone family capo Louis Pistachio Garmoni. was found hanging off the side of the 4th Street Bridge sometime just before dawn causing traffic to back up for miles as the cops cut him down. Random stabbings are the latest headache for the riders of Gotham's overcrowded Skyrail cars to contend with. Gotham police are investigating multiple cases of riders receiving abdominal wounds from an ice pick or other pointed weapon while pressed into the tight quarters with fellow passengers. A few have died, while most have been admitted to Gotham General in critical condition. The police don't have any suspects at the time. Two more patients have gone missing from Arkham Asylum, bringing the total number of escapees from the half-prison, half-mental hospital to 15 this year. Only three have been caught to date, but all the escapees highlight the rough, some would say inhumane conditions at the aging asylum. The latest, 44-year-old twin brother and sister, Leon and Valerie Muldoon, should be considered dangerous if found. Authorities are asking that you do not approach and call police immediately. Mayor Hill's Gotham Beautiful Act takes effect today, making it possible for landlords to evict tenants immediately and without cause. The new law was created in order to allow Gotham City's biggest property owners greater ability to modify and improve the city's aging buildings, some of which have been occupied by families for decades. So if you come home from work tonight and find all your stuff on the street, don't worry. It probably isn't anything you did wrong. And if you can believe it, now you can't even trust the valets. More on this after the break. Mayor Hill says he's tough on crime, but since his election, violence in Gotham has sky... Does Hill's campaign really think these accusations hold any water for the voters? Or will it 
be perceived as a desperate attempt from a flailing campaign to take down one of Gotham's most promising young politicians. And in other news, you're now on day three of the factory fire that will not end. Crews have given up trying to combat the blaze at the Otisburg Processing Center, owned by Ace Chemical. Still no word on what started the fire, but whatever's burning in there has resisted everything the fire department has thrown at it. They're recommending people avoid the area and seek immediate treatment if you happen to breathe in any of that tar black smoke. And one mobster's murder caused quite a headache for commuters this morning. The body of Falcone family capo Louis Pistachio Garmoni was found hanging off the side of the 4th Street Bridge sometime just before dawn causing traffic to back up for miles as Back computers should be down. able to read whatever data is on that stolen drive. Random stabbings are the latest headache for the riders of Gotham's overcrowded Skyrail cars to contend with. Nearly fell off a building for this? So important. This year. Only three have been caught today. <sighs> Encrypted. Wayne Manor has seven bedrooms, two kitchens, a library, a gymnasium, a basketball court, and a movie theater. And yet I always find you here. In a dark, damp cave. In front of a computer. I'll leave as soon as I finish. People with regular jobs can do their work anywhere, but for me, this is my office. I agree. It isn't normal work. Even worse, the best outcome is that no one ever finds out you've done it. Yeah, well, good deeds usually go unnoticed. Uh, though not unappreciated. Did you find out what that um, cat woman tried to steal? Well, in the process. What are we looking at? Let me try a different angle. This is a map of the east side shoreline. But it could mean any number of things. Money, weapons, drugs, everything flows through that port. Maybe it's where Mayor Hill picks up his dry cleaning. Hmm. Can't make sense of it yet. There's still plenty of files to decrypt. And in the meantime, I saved you what I could. Thanks, so. Al. Yeah, the same couldn't be said for the bar. I had to literally pry Mrs. Zeller back away. But you'll be pleased to hear everyone has left, including Mr. Falcone. I would have been tempted to be far less polite. I'd recommend leaving the fist fights to your alter ego. Bloodstains are much harder to remove from a tuxedo. I had everything under control. That's true. I've seen you take down worse thugs. But I'd already sewn you up once tonight, and I had no interest in a repeat performance. For the record, your father despised men like Falcone, thought they ruined Gotham's stellar reputation. Back when it still had one? It can again, Bruce. Though people like this Catwoman aren't helping. Is she new to town? I've never seen her before. Hopefully she's just a tourist. I'll check the codex.
Found her. to find, apparently. A few burglaries, break-ins. Seems to lay pretty low. You could learn a thing or two from her. You can't step outside without it ending up in the news lately. As Bruce or Batman. I stay out of sight when I need to. Define need to. Well, whenever Harvey calls, the guy's exhausting. Well, after the press conference tomorrow, I'll mark your calendar as exhausted, then. The media isn't good for anyone's health. I don't mean to beat a dead argument, but... No one's gonna figure it out now, trust me. Miss Vale noticed your injuries, so did Mr. Dent. If they put it together with the incident at the mayor's office, it would undo all the long nights and close calls we've endured to get here. You're in the spotlight more than ever. You have to be careful. You're right, you're right. I should have cancelled the event. But I know how much pressure you're under. I don't mean to add to it. It's okay. I, I know you're only looking out for me. If we make a suit that fits me, we can trade places some night. Though I'm not partial to heights. Uh, old men worry, that's all. It's our gift and our curse. One more worry for the list. I thought I saw Oz. It's been, what, 20 years? Last time I saw him, we were in grade school. Indeed. You two were thick as thieves. Oswald, however, took that role more literally than you. Dishonorable discharge, illegal boxing matches, arms dealing, prison stents? That's a criminal grand slam, if I'm using the expression correctly. Unfortunately, you are. Oswald claimed he only wanted to catch up, but his behavior following his family's collapse is troubling. Why he's returning now, I haven't the faintest idea. I think he just wants to reconnect. Criminal record or not, he's still an old friend. A lot can change over the years. If I remember correctly, Oswald was fond of the old firecrackers in the toilet trick. I worry what he's graduated to. Even though you and young Master Cobblepot used to be close, I'd advise you to be cautious. But I know you can't abandon a good mystery until it's solved. I'll be careful, Alfred. When you see what's become of his park, I think you will. 